Let's open our Bible. Tufungue Biblia zetu. Let's open our Bibles in the book of Isaiah chapter 46. Katika kitabu cha Isaia 46 verse 9 to 10. Eh tisa Isaia 46 tisa hadi 10. Tisa. Remember the former things of the old. For I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no other like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasures all my pleasure father we want to thank you lord for your word this morning as you minister to us o jehovah may your word bring transformation to the glory of your holy name receive all the glory in jesus name so this morning before i begin I want to tell us that at times our present predicaments or difficult situations that times we, we go through it make us worry about our future. We wonder what will happen we look at the present situation we look at what we are going through we look at what we have experienced and we wonder if this is the way I am today how will be my future be but I want to tell us church God has given me a message he has put it in my heart to, to come and let you know and that is the top, uh, today's topic your life is in the hands of God amen Hallelujah. your life our lives they are in the hands of God. Yako kwenye mikono ya Mungu. The purpose of today's message kusudi la ujumbe wa leo is to help us know ni kutusaidia kujua that in all the situations kwamba katika hali zote whatever that we go through yote tuyapitiayo our God is in control. Mungu wetu yupo kwenye usukani. And his plans cannot be thwarted. Na mipango yake haizisambaratishi. What he has planned for me. Alichokupangia. What he has planned for you. Alichokunipangia. What he has planned for you. Kile amekupangia. Cannot be stopped. Because he is the Lord of Lords and the creator of heaven and earth. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, God is speaking about the destructions of a Babylonian gods. Like Bel and Nebo kama yule Mungu anaitwa Bel na Nebo and other Babylonian gods na miungu mingine ya Babiloni what had happened kile kilikuwa kimetendeka the children of Israel wana wa Israeli together with the people of Babylonians pamoja na watu wa Babiloni some of them had started worshiping these gods baadhi yao walikuwa naabudu miungu hii and god was crying and he was saying na Mungu alikuwa analia na uliza these gods cannot protect you. Miungu hii haiwezi kukupa ulinzi. These gods cannot feed you. Miungu hii haiwezi kukulisha. These gods cannot protect you. Miungu hii haiwezi kukupatia usalama. They cannot carry you. Haiwezi kukubeba. They are always carried. Kila mara kila mara inabeba hiyo miungu. God is saying. Lakini Mungu anasema, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, they carry their gods. But me as God. I carry my people. I carry my people. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. 
The chapter is also speaking about the salvation of Israel. Basi ilo andiko linanena kuhusu uponyaji ama ukombozi wa Israeli. And God is telling the Israel. Na Mungu anaambia wa Israeli, stop about what you are doing. Simamisha kile mnachofanya. Remember what I did to you. Kumbuka kile niliwafanyia. I carried you niliwabeba from the land of Egypt kutoka Misri to where you are today. Hadi mahali ulipo leo. Amen. Hallelujah. And this can be seen in Deuteronomy 1 na hii inaonekana katika kumbukumbu la Torati 1. And verse that one. He says and in the wilderness where you saw how the Lord your God carried you as a man carries his son in all the way that you you went until you came to this place praise the name of the living God Hallelujah. so God is asking us to trust him if he carried the children of Israel from Egyptian captivity to the land of Canaan, he is able to also to carry us despite the situations that we are going through. Life may be tough. You may not see the light at the end of the tunnel. But the facts remain. The Lord know your, knows your end from the beginning. He anajibu. knows your beginning of if your end of he knows your beginning from the end. And also he knows wake. your end before you begin. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And I want to tell us kuambia, that our lives kwamba maisha yetu your life Maisha yako. is in the hands of God. Ya so the point number one I want to address ya ya. is that God declared your future Mungu hatima yako before it began. Kabla ya kuanza. God declared your future Mungu hatima yako before it began. Kabla ya God planned your future. Mungu wako. God finished your future Mungu na wako. before it began. Hata kabla ya Just give you an example. Mfano. The person who built this podium had an idea of what he wanted to do. And before he began, he had an end picture that this podium will look like this. And therefore he started it. Prepared materials and built this podium. It's only that we human beings are limited. We have limitations. We can build this. But God knows about what will happen many years before it happens. Isaiah 46 verse 9 He says Remember Remember Hallelujah Remember I am God and there is no other God. Amen. Hallelujah. And he says, Na anasema, declaring the end from the beginning. From ancient times, things that are not yet done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, God doesn't begin with now. Mungu haanzi sasa. And then he starts figuring out what will happen. Our God finishes and then he begins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He finishes. He sees the end product. He sees your future. He sees your family. He sees your marriage. He even knows the predicaments that will come. But he says not predicaments will not alter his plans over your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Some of you are struggling. 
you don't have a job that job is not paying well some are struggling with the marriage some are struggling with finances the Lord knows what you are going through but the Lord is telling you that is not the end it is just a process what he planned will come to pass hallelujah, hallelujah. you know my brothers and sisters God declared the end of Israelites going to the Canaan land before even they began before they were born when he had called Abraham, Abraham, Abraham had no son. Abraham he was still believing God. Mungu. And in chapter 15 of Genesis, na sura ya manzo, God manzo. appears to Abraham mungu and listen to what he tells Sikili, Abraham. Sikili nini. Genesis chapter 15 and verse 13. Mwanzo kuminatano, kuminatatu. NIV. NIV. Then the Lord said to Abraham, Abraham, You can be sure that your descendants will be strangers in the foreign land where they will be oppressed as slaves for 400 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Abraham. Abraham. He has no son, but the Lord has come. And he is telling him, You are descendants. The descendants that you have not seen through your son Isaac. The Isaac that you have not seen. I am here to tell you, You have Isaacs that you have not seen. Hallelujah. You have Isaacs that you have not seen. They are descendants that you have, you don't, you have but you have not seen them. And he tells Abraham, your descendants will be strangers in the land of Egypt. And they will be slaves. They will go through challenges. But I am the Lord who will come and deliver them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says. But I will punish the nation that enslaves them. And in the end, they will come away with great wealth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did it happen? God came to the Lord of Egypt. He used Moses. He did miracles and wonders. And when the children of Israel were living, they went with the wealth of Egypt. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And we are talking about over 400 years before it began. Hallelujah. We have only about 120 years. Probably plus if God allows. But the Bible says God knows our end. God knows your end. God knows your end from the beginning. Hallelujah. What did he tell Jeremiah? He told Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1.5 before I formed you in the womb in the womb I knew I knew you Hallelujah Mrs. Mwiti before God created you Mrs. Kaberere before God created you church before God created us he knew us Hallelujah Hallelujah even by the, and they continue to say, before you were born, I set you apart. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is to say, before you were born, God had set you apart for a purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. Either the devil likes it or not. In other words, you are in the, your future is in the hands of the Lord. He went to your future and then he gave you the present to go to your future. And you are not going alone. You are going together with your God. We are going together with our God. And he says he is our father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mugambi, come here. Mugambi, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know he's a bit short. And I'm tall. Just imagine a father. Praise the name of the living God. Baba. Uh -huh. Now a father. Baba. I'm the father. Mimi ni baba. And this is the baby. Uni kijana mdogo. Amen. Are you a baby? Yeah. Toto. Assume you're a baby. So Kiri when he is walking with me, nami. he is proud. Anakuwa na, he is happy. Na na if anything brown. happens, he knows I am with my daddy. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. If there are chaos Kama kuna or uh, challenges, uh, he will run atakimbia. to the daddy. Kwa baba. Praise the name of the living Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And daddy will protect him. Na baba Either there are challenges. Pawe na he will be protected. That's way we protect our children against anything. It's the same way God works with us. And he protect us day and night. But sometimes we get worried because of small things. Have you ever seen your son? Have you ever seen your uh, uh, daughter getting worried when you as a mom is there when you as a dad is there why he or she is comfortable I am with my mom I am with my dad and he or she is comfortable church let us be comfortable and be assured that God is with us. Situations may come, but he is with us. He says, I will never leave you, neither forsake you. Amen. Let's appreciate him. God bless you. And then he says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet for the nation. So God knows your present and also your future. Psalm 39, verse 16. Psalm 39, 16. Is also another confirmation. It says, Your eyes saw so my unformed body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the eyes of God. Before he created you, before you went to your mother's womb, God had seen you. And he had all great plan for your future. He has a great plan for this church. He has a great plan for your family. He has a great plan for your future. Get to know that you are your life is in the hands of the Almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lords. He says, Asema, all the days siku zote ordained for me kwangu, were written in your book before one of them came to be. Kabla hata moja Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying asema, I saw you before you were born Kabla and in my book na chani, my life 
maisha yako hallelujah hallelujah you are life maisha yako is in his book yamo kitabuni mwake and no wonder bible says in the book of revelation na maana biblia inasema katika kitabu cha ufunguo and the books were opened na vitabu vikafunguliwa and the books were opened vitabu vikafunguliwa and whosoever names was not written na yote jina lake ambalo kweli linaandikwa the book of life katika kitabu he was thrown into the lake of fire nitupo kwenye jana you may be there unaweza kuwa pale you are life maisha yako is in the hands of God. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. He saw your future before he created you. And he has a great plan. In the name of Jesus. So get to know that your life is in the hands of God. So commit yourself unto the Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lord. Because he declared your future before it began. He know where you are going. He know where you are stuck. Anajua And he knows where you, you where you will be tomorrow. Na anajua utakuwa wapi kesho. Number 2. Ya pili. God's purpose in your life cannot be stopped. Kusudi la Mungu maishani mwako haliwezi kusimamishwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's purpose, mpango wa Mungu, God declaration kutangaza kwa Mungu in our lives maishani mwetu cannot be stopped hakuwezi kukasimamia Isaiah 46:10 says Isaiah 46:10 asema my verse b eh pili pale b my counsel shall stand ushauri wangu utasimama God counsel shall stand ushauri wa Mungu utasimama nothing can stop the plan of God hakuna chochote kinaweza kuzuia mpango wa Mungu Do you anybody who can stop the plan of God? Open Isaiah 14. Fungua Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. And verse 10 uh, Isaiah 14:27. Isaiah 14:27. The Bible says. Biblia sema. Can you open NLT? It's a bit clearer. Ah uh, fungua NLT. It is says The Lord of heaven's army has spoken. Bana mana bana majeshi amekusudia. Who has spoken? Nani ameongea? The Lord of heaven's armies has spoken. Bana wa majeshi. If he speaks, akizungumza, others have to keep quiet. Wengine lazima wanyamaze. Because his voice, maana sauti yake has power. Iko na nguvu. He says, asema, who can change his plans? Nani atakaye batili batili? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who can change God's plan over your life? Nani atakaye badilisha mpango wa Mungu maisha yako? No devil. Hakuna shetani. No man. Hakuna mtu. God's plan will prevail over your life. Mpango wa Mungu utasimama maisha yako. He says who can change his plans? Anasema nani anaweza kubadilisha mpango wa Mungu? When his hands is raised mikono yake mkono wake ukiriwa kumsimamisha amen hallelujah that is to say kusema, if you are life kama maisha yako is in the hands of god yako kwa mikono ya mungu nothing can thwart the plans of god hakuna yeyote anaweza kusimamisha when he says you will get married you will get married akisema utaolewa utaolewa hallelujah hallelujah when he says akisema you will get what you need you will get what you need utapata unachohitaji aji utapata unachokuita When he says that you will build a house you will build that house Akisema utaijenga nyumba utaijenga When he says that you will buy that land you will buy that land Akisema utanunua ile plot basi utanunua I hope some people I you know people you, you know there are times these are prophetic words Aya ni maneno ya nabii And it is good to lambana of them. Ni vyema kuyachukua. Good to take them. Ni vyema kuyachukua. Because God says, Maana Mungu asema, I gonna make you great people. Nitawafanya watu wakuu. In these days. Katika siku hizi. Let me tell you. Acha niwaambie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Acha niwaambie. The days are coming. Siku zinakuja. And you'll be meeting each other. Natakuwa mnakutana. And because all of you by the grace of God I prophesy in Jesus name you will have houses and cars parking will be up and will not be a problem because you'll have a big land but parking might look like a sea 
Inaweza kuwa uh, ile paki itakuwa kama bahari. And you'll be meeting each other. Nakutana pamoja. And saying, Nasema, it has come to be. Imetimia. Because it was prophesied. Maana ilitabiriwa. It shall come to pass. Itakuja kutimia. Why? Kwa nini? Nobody can stop it. Hakuna atakayesimamisha. Nobody can stop it. Hakuna anayeweza kusimamisha. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Don't worry. Usikuwe na wasiwasi. With your small beginning. Kwa mwanzo wako mdogo. You have begun with God. Umeanza na Mungu. Church don't worry. Kanisa msijali. Because of the small beginning. Kwa mianzo midogo. Because of the challenges that you are going through. Kwa changamoto tunapitia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You rejoice. Utafurahi. When you see the goodness of the Lord. Utakapona utukufu wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So place your confidence. Weka hakikisho uh, lako. In God. Ndani ya Mungu. For what he has planned will come to Mara prevail. Kile amepanga kitatimia. It will succeed. Kitafaulu. And nobody church. Na hakuna yeyote kanisa. Nobody. Hamna yeyote. I mean nobody. Nasema hamna yeyote. Can't stop it. Atasimamisha. I'm telling you nobody will stop it. Hakuna atakayesimamisha. They may try to suck you. Watajaribu kukufuta. But they can't. Lakini hawawezi. As long as it is the presence of God. Maadamu Mungu yu anahusika. They may hinder your salary. Wanaweza kuzuia mshahara wako. They may hinder your promotion. Wanaweza kuzuia kupandishwa kwako. But when God's time comes. Lakini wakati wa Mungu kifika. They have no otherwise. Hawana lingine. They have to bow down. I want to tell us. Ningependa kuambia. There are things that you are going through. Kuna mambo yanapitia. There are things that you are going through. Kuna mambo yanapitia. There are things that you are going through. Kuna mambo yanapitia. There are things that you are going through. Kuna mambo yanapitia. It is only God's timing has not yet come. Sababu wakati wa Mungu hujafika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joseph is in the prison. Yusuf yuko gerezani. He is serving as usual. Anaendelea kutumika kama kawaida. But all of a sudden, he ghafla bidii. He sees someone coming. Anaona mtu anakuja. And said, anasema, Joseph, Yusuf is required by the president. Anatakikana na rais. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of that, na kwa sababu ya hilo, they came with the best garment. Wakaja na vazi nzuri sana. He took a bath. Wakaoga. And he was happy. Na akafurahia. He went to the palace. Akaenda kwenye hekalu. And he was made the assistant, you know, the, the deputy president. Na akafanywa na Ibrahim. The prime minister. Akafanywa na Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the prison to the seat. Hadi kwenye kiti. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. May the Lord move you. Mungu akui from your situation to where you belong in the name of Jesus they did not stop Joseph in the name of Jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. this is what Joseph said this is what Joseph said in Genesis 50 20 you in intended to harm me mulipania kunidhuru you intended to harm me mulipanga kunidhuru you intended to harm me mulipanga kunidhuru but god intended for good to accomplish what is now being done lakini mungu alipanga iwe hivyo kwa kile ambacho kinatendeka you intended to harm me mulipanga kunidhuru there are people who have been intending to harm you kuna watu ambao wamekuwa kupanga kukudhuru People may plan to harm you. Hallelujah. That people may try to do things here and there. But I want to tell us what God has planned will turn to a testimony. Will turn to a testimony. I decree even today. This week, wiki hii, this week, wiki hii, some of you will receive a testimony when of what God, God has done wa kile Mungu and he's going to overthrow everything na kita, in na the na name na of na Jesus na and you are going to see the glory of God. Na he na is the Lord of Lord. He na is na the King of Kings and the Creator of heaven and earth. You intended to harm me but can you say but? God is in control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, I want to tell us that God's purpose in your life cannot be stopped. Jesus Christ. Yesu Christ. In Mark 4:35. He told his disciples let us go to the other side of the lake. Hallelujah. We do what? 
Let us go to the other side. And when we go to the other side, there is something that we are supposed to go to do. And as they were rowing their boat, going to the other side, hallelujah, a storm arose to hinder them from going further. But I want to tell us either storms come or they don't come and will not stop what God has done. Amen. Hallelujah. You know they come to discourage us. The storms come to discourage our families. The storms come to discourage the church. Storms come to discourage individuals. But I want to tell us church that the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, He is the creator. When He says go, nobody can stop Him. Amen. So when they reached at the center of the sea, the storm came. But in the midst of the storm, they tried their own means to solve the problem. And there was no solution. There are times we try to solve our problems without involving God. We use our own abilities. We use our own knowledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we fail. But when they turn to Jesus, they say, Jesus, we are perishing. Jesus stood. He calmed the waves. And he told them, I said you are not going to sink. I said you are going to the other side. And let's go to the other side. So by the grace of God, they managed to go to the other side. And there was a great war over 10 cities came to know God through one man who was possessed by the demonic spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when he got delivered because they went to the other side about 10 cities God delivered. In other words my brother there are things that you have been going through that people will hear your testimony and your brothers and siblings will get born again. People will hear and see what your God has done in your life. And I want to tell us in Jesus name that they will say this is the hand of God. This is the hand of God. Because you are a child of God. Walk God walks like someone who is defeated. Walk like, like a child of God. Because already you have victory. In Jesus name. Can we appreciate the Lord of Lords. The King of Kings. The creator of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. So. Nobody will stop. What God has started in your life. Because it's the same yesterday. Today and forever. He who began. He who began. The good work. In your life. In your family. In your business. He will accomplish it. Because he is well able. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Number three. Tattoo. God will carry you through. Oh my God. God will carry you through. There is this story and we have heard it several times that there was a man as he was walking they used to walk together with the God. As they, as they walked he used to see two footprints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When everything was okay. When everything was okay. But one time, he realized most of the problem, most of the time, when he is going through hardships, he used to see only one footprint. Then he asked God, why do you leave me? When I go through challenges, God told him, I never leave you. 
and I will never forsake you. Do you know what happens? When you are going through those challenges, hallelujah, I carry you. I carry you. You are not walking by then. You are being carried by me. Yes, I know you are going through challenges. But I am still taking you to the other side. Hallelujah. You may go through. You may go through the fire. You may go through the water. You may go through the challenges. But God will always take you through. In Jesus name. Amen. Man. Hallelujah. Uh, in the same chapter of Isaiah 46, let us read verse 4. Let us read verse 4. Isaiah 46. And sorry, verse, verse 14. Sorry, verse 4, not 14. Verse 4. The Bible says. And this is God speaking to the children of Israel. And he is also speaking to us. And he says even to your old age and gray hair oh hallelujah even to your old age and gray hairs I am he. I am he who will sustain in you. In that situation, I knew you before you were born. I knew you. I am with you even in your young age. When you are still young. But he also says that is not enough. Even when you are old, with the gray hair, I am God. He will sustain you. I have made you. And I will carry you. I will sustain you. And I will rescue you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the Lord of the Lord. He says. Before we were created. He knew us. Amen. When we were babies. He was with us. When we were youth. We have so many youth here. The Lord is with you. If you are old here. The Lord is telling you. Even at this time time when you are old with gray hair or even gray beard hallelujah the Lord is with you you are not alone praise the name of the living God hallelujah. let's appreciate the Lord of Lord amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah and this is also we can also hear this from David's mouth. Psalms 37 and verse 25. Psalms 37 verse 25. David says, I was young and now I am old. Yet, hallelujah, I was young and now I am old yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children beg bread, begging bread amen Hallelujah. God is uh, David is not saying that he has never experienced challenges he is not saying he has not gone through hard times but he is saying when the hard times come God is always with him let us look at the, uh, at the life of Joseph hallelujah he is a young boy of about 17 years. Listen to this. His own father overlooked him. His own father overlooked him. When Samuel came and he wanted someone to anoint, he called all other people but he forgot Joseph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His father overlooked him. 
Babake alimsahau. And overlooked David, sorry. Alimsahau Daudi. And overlooked David. Alimsahau Daudi. And the Bible says, Na Biblia inasema, he was attacked by the bear. Alivamiwa na dubu. And you remember? Naweza kumbuka. This is David. Who ni Daudi? He is about 17 years only. Akona miaka 17 hivi. But all of a sudden, Sudden, he was overlooked by his father. He was he was attacked by bear and a lion. But thank God, when he was forgotten by his father, God remembered him. Oh my God! Hallelujah! God stopped every program. Mungu akasimamisha shughuli zote until David arrived. Mpaka Daudi akawasili. There are programs that will be stopped in your in the in, for, for, for your sake. Kuna mipango itasimamishwa sababu yake. And when you arrive, unapoingia, is when the programs will continue. Hapo ndio shughuli zaendelea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me. Biblia niambia. He was attacked. Alivamiwa by a bear na dubu and a lion na simba but god gave him strength lakini mungu kampangua and overcame the devil na kamshinda shetani overcame the lion akashinda simba why kwa nini god gave him strength mungu alimpangua god will give you strength mungu atakupangua to overcome ya kushinda every attack of the enemy kila uvamizi wa shetani the name of the living god katika jina la yesu the bible tells me biblia niambia that he was despised alitharauliwa by his own brother anduguze Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was asked, Ayulizo. "What have you come to do? Umekuja kufanya You have left those small uh, sheep. Umeacha kondoo wa chai. And you have come to this field. Umekuja hapa kwa njia. Yet he was coming with an appointment. Na alikuwa amekuja na and with a purpose. Na kusudi. You are in that office with a purpose. Uko kwa ile kwa ile ofisi kwa kusudi. You are in that company with a purpose. Uko kwa ile kampuni kwa kusudi. You are in that place of work with a purpose. Uko pale kazini kwa kusudi. And God is going to use you. Na Mungu atakutumia. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Here is now Goliath. Huni Goliath. He wanted to kill David. Alitaka kumua Daudi. But God gave him grace. Lakini Mungu akampa neema. To destroy. Ya kuharibu. Goliath. Goliath. Any power of darkness. Kila nguvu za giza. That will try to come in your life. Saka kukuja maisha ni mwako. Will be defeated. Za shindo. Because he was in you. Manalia ndani yako. Is greater. Ni mkuu. Than the devil himself. Kuliko shetani mwenyewe. Let's appreciate the Lord of law. Kaza kumtambua bwana. Amen. Hallelujah. The same David. Yule Daudi. Who is saying. Anayasema. I was young. Nilikuwa mdogo. And I have never seen. Nasida wai kuona. God forsake his people. Mungu akiwa tenga watu wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saul the king Saul mfalme wanted to kill him. Alitaka kumuua. He lived in the wilderness. Akaishi jangwani. He had so many challenges. Alikuwa na changamoto nyingi sana. But he came with a testimony. Lakini akaja na ushuhuda. He fought battles. Akapigana vita. But thank God he became the king of Israel. Lakini shukrani Mungu akawa mfalme wa Israeli. So you are assured unahakikishiwa that your destiny is right. Kwamba hatima yako iko sawa. Hallelujah. So this is David. Uni Daudi He says I am old. Asema mimi ni mzee. I have no strength. Na sina nguvu. My eyes are dim. Macho yangu yamepoteza kona. But what I know? Lakini kila najua. God will never leave me. Mungu ataniacha. I don't know what you are going through now. Sijui unapitia kipi. I don't know what you are going through now. Sijui unapitia nini asubuhi ile. Probably challenges. Labda changamoto. Maybe through your body. Mwilini mwako. Probably there you know maybe through I don't know. Probably in the place of work. Katika kazi ni mwako. Or probably you are depressed. Ama labda umeshuka sana. You are wondering you have no answer for your situation. Hauna suluhu wa majibu kwa mambo yako. I want to tell us. Ningependa kuambia. That God knows the plans he has for you. Kama Mungu anajua mpango wake na. According to Isaiah 29:11. Kulingana na Isaiah 29:9. He declares that. Anatangaza atakuwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know the plans I have for you. Ninajua mpango nilio nao kwako. Declares the Lord. Asema Bwana. Plans to prosper you. Mpango wa kukupa kama to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future hallelujah a plan and a future mpango na hatima praise the name of the living god hallelujah i know the plans i have for you ninajua mpango nilio nao kwako clears the lord asema bwana plans to prosper you mpango wa kukunawirisha and not to harm you na sio kukudhuru plans to give you hope mpango kupatia tumaini and a future na hatima nzuri your future is in the hands of the lord hatima yako iko mikononi mwako praise the name of the living god hallelujah your life is in the hands of the lord hallelujah hallelujah god 
Mungu has good plans for you. Amekuwekea mipango. You are going far. Nenda mbali. The enemy is defeated. Shetani ameshindwa. The powers of demonic powers are defeated. Nguvu za giza zimeshindwa. They will not thwart the plans of God over your life. Hata zuia mpango wa Mungu God You are, your life is in the hands of God. Your purpose will not be stopped. And God will carry you throughout your life. Because he is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. I don't know what you are lacking now. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Rapha. Maybe you are sick this very hour. May he heal your body in the name of Jesus. He is Jehovah Nisi. Oh my God. Hallelujah. He is our banner. He is our banner. It doesn't matter the battles that you are going through. Victory belong to you. Victory belong to the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He may attack you. He may try to attack me. But the facts remain. He is defeated with the power that is above every power the power of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the living god hallelujah jehovah is nishi jehovah ni nishi he is jehovah shalom he is jehovah shalom he is our peace May the peace of God be your portion. So bring all your pains and bring all your struggles to God. For he is close to the broken heart. Let us stand up in Jesus. Because he lives, I can see tomorrow. Because he lives, I can see tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you that our lives are in your hands. We want to thank you that no one can thwart the power of God. The plan of God in our lives. We want to thank you that you are carrying us. You are carrying us Jehovah. You are carrying your people in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are there my brother. And you are there my sister. We are here to worship God. No other God apart from the living God the king of king the creator of heaven and earth who always carry us who always carry us who always carry us when things are good and even when the things are not good you are there and you are saying may you, uh, may you servant of God pray with me just raise up your hands your life is in the hands of God Father I want to thank you because you have told us this morning that our life is in the hands of God Jehovah Jehovah you know what your people are going through you have told us about you have reminded us about Israel how you delivered them Jehovah and carried them with your own hands Jehovah you have reminded us about Joseph how they tried to thwart his plans but Lord my God you succeeded you have reminded about David David you are servant Jehovah he was young and when he became old nothing stopped him oh God that you may fulfill his purpose Jehovah I want to thank you you have reminded us about David that he went through challenges his father Lord Jehovah God even he overlooked him his brothers oh God oh my father the Jehovah God did not believe in him they despised him Jehovah his own wife Mika also despised him oh God when he was dancing before you but you live to be the Lord of Lords and at the end of it you made him to be a king and he left a legacy 
I decree, O Jehovah, none of this place, none of the ones that are here, will live without a legacy. In the name of Jesus, their lives will be blessed. They will be favored, Jehovah. I want to thank you, Jehovah, that they will experience divine favor. Divine favor that comes from you. Divine favor that was experienced by Joseph. Divine favor that was experienced by the children of Israel. Divine favor experienced by David. Lord, in our own way, Jehovah, release divine favor to each and every person, Lord, who is here, Jehovah, and those online. That you may remember them. That you may reward them. That you may encourage them. If there is one that is sick, heal them in the name of Jesus. I cast out every work of the enemy. Now, spirit of disease, I command you now to get out. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the blood of Jesus, you are made whole. In the name of Jesus, in a stagnation or problems that someone is going through, I decree Jehovah that it is the, your people are free and they have been set free right now. In Jesus' name, if there is one that has a need, Jehovah, may it be physical. May it be spiritual. May it be financial. May it be any kind of need. May you meet that need in the name of Jesus. I speak peace to those who have in the, in the state of hopelessness. And I want to thank you that you will be with them. You carried the children of Israel. May you carry them to the glory of your holy name. For our lives are in your hands. And when we are in your hands, you are in control. And when you are in control, we have victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Your life is in the hands of God. Your family, your children, your work, hallelujah, and even your future is in the hands of the Lord. And he is in control. Just raise up your hands and surrender and say, I'm in the hands of God. Take over Jehovah in Jesus' name. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lord. Amen and amen. It is a time to give, to give our offerings. You are there in person here, or probably you are online. Prepare uh, your offerings. Prepare your tithe. Prepare what you need, uh, what you want to give to the Lord. Uh, probably it's uh, the first fruits, ministry partner, the tithe, and everything. And as you give, I want to appreciate we had a fundraiser. And uh, we have continued to trust God. We are building a church at uh, Runyenges. And we managed to raise uh, 217,000. Amen. Amen. And another friend of ours gave us 200,000. Amen. Amen. We just take up a step of faith. So we have about 217,000 and we need 1.2 million. If you are there, get on the move and be a blessing to us as we plant to that church. And I know God will bless us in Jesus' name. So you have a number on your screens. 
You can use the pay bill. You can use church Mpesa. You can also use the bank number, business number 303030. Whichever is convenient with you. And be a blessing in the work of God. God bless you. Uh, may the Lord favor you as you give. Father, I want to thank you for every giver and every money that is being given now. Bless all the givers. There are those who gave because of Runyanges. I speak blessings over their lives. There are those, Lord, who are planning to give because of Runyanges. Quicken them so that they can be a blessing, O oh God. It is my prayer in the name of Jesus whatever will be given today you bless the givers to the glory of your holy name in Jesus name we pray can you say amen God bless you God bless you see you next week same time amen God bless you amen